counties that have least, uh, the most heat and who are receiving the least access to funding planning communities. Uh, so we do this through four different outputs. One, we increase awareness and acceptance of funding planning through different uh, modalities. One, we engage male champions, we engage men as the gatekeepers, and the key informants are those who try to inform the community and other men regarding the importance of every in supporting a family to be able to plan uh, for the children that they will have so that they go to have a family that they deliver their desired family side. And secondly, we also work with religious leaders uh, uh, around all the religious centers. We work with church leaders, we work with imams and sheikhs from the Muslim uh, counterparts, among others as well, to ensure that the effort they're delivering and the message is actually in sync with their context and their religious understanding and their, their beliefs. So secondly, we increase the quality of service by making sure that the healthcare providers are frequently trained on safe routes to uh, to administer family planning without causing any harm to the woman who is receiving them. So we also do continuous capacity building and continuous training on the new methods that are coming so that our, our, private provider, our providers sorry, are always up to date on the right scale. Uh, thirdly, we also work with the government to support them in the development of various policies. Uh, sometimes uh, the government has the rights, uh, so they have the thoughts, but financing can be tricky in terms of putting together policy documents and disseminating. So we work together with the government to develop various policy uh, documents as well as the FP standards that the, cur the country is currently using. Uh, finally, we are beginning to accelerate the discussion in the government. Uh, we have additional material here around condoms and how are they used. So as we are demonstrating the condoms on this side and the, and the person from the community is looking at the modernity, the healthcare provider then is actually able to cancel for choice, tell them the advantages of the condom and the disadvantages of this side. Uh, so that this, so this, this then enables the beneficiary to be able to choose something that is best for them. This other one showcases uh, showcase how implants are put, showing how it will look like for the person. Again, with the same modality, the other side having messaging that the healthcare provider can use. This one demonstrating how a healthcare worker uh, goes ahead to administer depo. This is intramuscular depo. This is the in the arm. Uh, everyday pills. So again, counseling, showing how the woman will be taking her pills while she's determining the timing. Again, messaging that advises uh, what is what to expect from everyday pills, what are the advantages and the disadvantages. So this particular one shows us all the methods. And then we have the, uh, we have the medical eligibility criteria wheel for contraceptive use. This helps uh, providers, particularly when you're dealing with women that have other diseases are ongoing. Should I call them the other concurrent illnesses? For instance, if you're dealing with a woman who is HIV positive and you need to determine the kind of method she should be on because her ARVs can interact uh, with, with the other family planning methods and reduce each other in the bloodstream because one of those medicines have an enzyme that makes the liver wash out the medicine faster. So as you administer it to them and you need to advise them on which one, what are they most eligible for? So this um, will enable the healthcare provider to be able to say, fine, if you're on this kind of uh, ARV, then this is the best kind of family planning method to go on. And then also advises on emergency contraceptive will and what a woman should actually be able to look out for. And then one of my favorites is the I love this one. This is the Washington group of questions. So a very unique aspect of the DESI project is social inclusion, which we highlighted earlier. Social inclusion is the ability to make sure that um, people who would otherwise not get access to family planning are remembered. And for the DESI project, the people we include in social inclusion are people who are living with disabilities, people who are, who are deaf, uh, those who have visual impairment. And so we have material that enables them, enables first of all the healthcare provider. Because sometimes when you talk to someone, Disability can be on a spectrum. There's someone who you can tell this one has an issue with the eye, but there's some people have an issue with the eye, and then the other eye has a has sort of compensated, so you can't tell. So we have a Washington group of questions that enables the health provider to screen first the person that they are offering family planning to, ask them different questions around vision. Do you have difficulty seeing? Do you have difficulty hearing? Do you have sometimes have trouble walking, or do you have trouble understanding? Because if you're dealing with someone who has trouble understanding and you want them to remember a daily pill, they can forget. So this helps you screen the disability spectrum that a person is on so that you're able to offer them the right kind of family planning method based on where they are. And remember, uh, a disability can be such that it's on a spectrum that is low and is not easily um, recognized by someone. So this helps the provider to be able to see and then they use the medical community and the cancer and the death cancer makers to advise the best method. Oh, this is brain, yes. 
So here we have FP, the FP counseling card developed by the DESI for, for people who have vision impairment. These are FP counseling cards in braille because this is not the kind of person that you can show the other job with that has pictures. So then they are able to actually run through the content and feel and be able to understand what you are not able to communicate with someone with visual impairment using the other you should play, the other standard um, FP counseling card. And then finally one of the favorites is this one. The HB display kits are perfect. That our CHBs and service providers work with in the community when they're going out for outreaches. So they're not only carrying them. targeted 14 counties, out of which we have reached 8. We are still expanding to get to 14 and even beyond. My call today is, um, let's look at the disparity, disparities that exist in the country, because some companies are doing so well, while others are not doing so well, and look for interventions that fit the local context of any region in this country. Yes, there are many interventions in terms of uh, capacity building, we will continue to build capacity of our healthcare providers. In terms of commodity supplies, we continue to supply commodities to the lowest facility in this country through the chemical distribution channels. Uh, we have also procured essential uh, equipment and supplies that go along with the provision of quality family value services. And we have developed right policies that can guide the country in delivery of uh, family planning services. Maybe what we to achieve by As a country, Kenya has uh, uh, family planning goals. The national family planning goals for Kenya is 58% uh, by 2020, 64% by 2030, and by 2050, we want to reach 70%. Maybe looking at this conference is largely about learning what we have learned so far for the five year period and uh, we have had uh, the support of DESI. What DESI is funded, it's a UK funded project through FCDO. We thank all of them. The learnings we have so far can be incorporated in other projects that are upcoming and even for this the sixth year the sixth year of uh, project uh, uh, life plan probably can do better from the learnings of this, of this, of this company. and also the last one because in terms of uh, because you talked about the financial supports how uh, uh, government